the Project Panna, my makeup collection can fluctuate quite frequently and that is why I love doing inventory videos and I know you guys love them as well. So today I'm going to be going through all of my makeup collection, giving you the numbers, giving you how many we went up by, we went down by. I do these every four-ish months. So I think that gives us a good amount of time to fluctuate, buy things, get rid of things, finish things and um, yeah I think we've done pretty well. But just before we do jump into this video today if you have not already like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I love bright fun colourful makeup and project panning which does impact my numbers quite a lot. I'm very very excited. At the start of this year I did say I was going to go on a complete makeup no buy, not buy any makeup at all and then I did change my perspective a little bit. I started earning a second income so with that I did allow myself to buy a few things, not go overboard, but that is reflected somewhat in these numbers. So I am gonna budge up because I do have pictures for you guys today and I am gonna go through my makeup inventory for April 2024. Let's go. Okay, so let's start with primer. So in December I had one primer, which was my e.l.f. Power Grip primer, and now I have zero. So I'm not gonna have any picture up here because it would just be a blank screen anyway. I actually finished my e.l.f. Power Grip very, very recently, which is very exciting. So now I have zero primer. I'm not a primer girl. I don't agree with primer. I think a good old moisturizer does the job for me. I don't have enlarged pores. I don't have issues with makeup sliding off my face. So I'm I'm fine with no primer. I've gone down by one. I'm not planning on buying any more. I think my skincare routine pre-makeup is pretty solid. It does the job. It is pretty good, not gonna lie. I've got my skincare down. <laughs> I just don't see the point in primer and I'm not gonna buy any more. Let's move on to foundation. So in December I had eight and now I have seven. So I've used one up, that was the Makillo foundation that I used up. I've gone down by one, of course. I think this is a pretty good number. I'm very happy with my foundation collection. On Black Friday, I did buy quite a few foundations because I realized my foundation collection was like, four and I was getting a little bit panicked but I really like this number. I think I've got a good amount of foundations in my collection. I can mix them up, I can you know have a new one every day of the week. Brilliant. I like them all as well and I'm very very happy with this part of my makeup collection. I think if I got to about 10 that's when it would be a little bit of an issue but right now I'm very, very happy. Let's move on to concealer. So in December I had five and now I have four. So I have used one up. I'm very, very excited about that. I used up my AOA concealer in a rolling project pan and very happy. I am working on two more concealers to finish, which will be absolutely amazing if I could do that. That would start getting into scary territory, to be honest, because one of those is actually a colour corrector, so it's not like an everyday use concealer. I think I will be investing in a few more concealers very, very soon. So let me know what is your favourite concealer of all time. I want to know. I want full coverage. I don't want too drying. I just want a nice, full coverage concealer so let me know your top picks. So next I have pressed powder. In December I had two and I still have two so I have not gone down, I have not gone up, they are the same two. You can see they both have pans on them now which is amazing and I am actually trying to finish up the Too Faced pressed powder. Hopefully I can do that but again once I do that I'll only have one. So again, leave your pressed powder recommendations down below because I think I'm gonna be needing some new ones very soon and I don't wanna waste my money. So I'm counting on you guys. Give me a good recommendation. And then moving on to loose powder in December, I had three and I still have three. I actually used up the She Glam loose powder and I brought in the Huda Beauty powder. So we got down one and then we went up one. So that's fine. I'm pretty happy with three. I think three is a really, really good amount. Loose powder is so difficult to get through, so I don't want over five. I think three is a really, really nice number, and I actually really like all of these as well. I'm very happy with them, and there's not one that I'm like, oh, 
I really want to get through. It was that She Glam one, but I've done that recently. I got rid of it, I used it up, it's an empty, and I'm so happy about that. Okay, let's talk bronzer. So in December, I had 20 pressed bronzers and one cream bronzer, and now I have 19 pressed bronzers and one cream bronzer. So I have gone down a bronzer, which is incredible. I can't actually remember what bronzer that was. Oh, it was, I think it was the Huda Beauty bronzer in the in my pan that face palette i'm pretty sure i finished that since december did i i'm pretty sure i did i lose track of time when it comes to project panning but i'm pretty sure i finished that this year so that would have been the pressed bronzer empty that is gone from my collection i am so unbelievably excited about that i'm glad that it's not hitting the 20 mark because i think 20 is a lot 20s a lot, I'm starting to go down. I do have a massive pan on my Zoeva bronzer in my Pan That Face palette currently. So hopefully by the time I update this again in a further four months, then I will have that bronzer gone as well. And I will go down one more, which would be amazing. I'm so excited about that. 19 bronzers. It's a lot for one face, especially when today I'm wearing eyeshadow as bronzer. I know. I know, I know. <laughs> Next I have blush, so pressed blush. In December I had 33 pressed blushes and now I have 32 and I also had one cream blush and I still have that one cream blush. So I went down one powder blush and that was my Beauty Bay Peachy Blush, which was a Franken in my Pan That Face palette for 2023. That palette did roll into a little bit of 2024 and I got that completely done. I'm so unbelievably happy with that. That is insane. You guys know finishing a blush is so difficult, but I'm still over 30 blushes, which is a lot. It's a lot, especially when blush for me is the hardest thing to project pan. I did do a whole video ranking makeup based on how hard they are to project pan. So I'll link that up in the cards if you wanted to see that. But blush is so difficult. I think blush is the hardest thing to project pan. So to have over 30 of them is ridiculous. It is so ridiculous, but I just love them all. I love blush. I used to be a blush hater and now I just love a good blush. <laughs> so moving on to highlighter in December, I had 14 highlights and I still have 14 highlights. I'm very happy about this. 14 I think is a good number. I do also have a big pan on my Pan That Face palette highlighter as well. So hopefully that will be gone very, very soon. I do find highlight quite difficult to project pan, but not the worst, not the best. So I'm I'm okay, 14's okay. It's been consistent since August last year. I've not really bought any, I've not really, I have used one up. Oh, I think what's happened, I have counted the NARS highlighter that is way too dark for me in this, and I don't think I'd done that before. But technically I do have 14 in my collection. It's just one of them is um a little bit dark, like just a, tiny bit dark. It's like bright gold. <laughs> it's not going to work on me, but I have decided to count it as a highlight. Um, I can take or leave it. I probably won't be using it at all, but there you go. Okay. So eyeshadow palettes. This is the one that my no buy was kind of surrounding. So as I said at the start of this video, I started the year saying I do not want to buy any makeup at all. I am going to be on a no buy year. I'm going to be that girly. And then I got my new job and I was like, hmm, I have money now. And so I thought, you know what? I'm working hard for it. I'm going to treat myself. If I want to buy something, I'm going to buy something. And of course, eyeshadow. It's my passion. It is my weakness. I absolutely love eyeshadow. So it's not gone up that much. I feel like I've like hyped you all up for like a 20 increase, but it's not that bad. So in December, I had 33 and now I have 35, which is amazing. I did declutter what was left of my Soph X Revolution palette. I do have about four shades left in my Pan That Palette project, but I've just counted it as a declutter. And I also got gifted the Natasha Denona Glam palette and also the, the Pastel Roses Frozen Dreams palette. And then I did buy the Beauty Bay Reckless Romance. So we went down one, but went up three. So that's an increase of two. I think that's good. I think that's okay. I'm not gone crazy. So many people go absolutely insane. I will say I do have two eyeshadow palettes that are coming to me in PR and I know I've been saying that for like 
a month. I know, I know, but um, shipping has been an absolute nightmare with those palettes. So I've not got them in my collection yet. I'm not counting them. I've, I've not got, they could take another month for them to get to me. It's, it's been a whole ride. <laughs> But I think I'm doing pretty good. I am focusing a lot on eyeshadows, trying to finish them, trying to hit pan on them. I'm happy with that. I don't think I've done bad at all. So single eyeshadows, I have actually gone down, which is amazing. In December, I had 129 single eyeshadows and now I have 127 single eyeshadows. I'm happy about that. I think that's amazing. I have used two of them up good stuff. I'm very, very happy. I have a lot of single eyeshadows in my new Pam That palette, so hopefully that can keep going down throughout the year. I do love my single eyeshadows. I love duping new palettes. You guys may know I love doing the shorts videos where I just dupe out new releases. I think it's such a good exercise. It saves me money. Hopefully it saves you money as well. And I like having a big single eyeshadow collection. And a lot of those are like super beautiful indie duochromes like I'm wearing today. They make me so happy and I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> so that means my total eyeshadows, so my single eyeshadows plus my eyeshadows in palettes. In December, it was 525 and now it is 553. So I've gone up by 28. Obviously I have brought in three new palettes, which that's gonna be it. <laughs> that's gonna be it. I'm pretty happy with that to be honest, 553. It's a lot, don't get me wrong, it is a lot. And I'm probably never gonna finish all of those, but I like having choice. I like having options. I love project panning, like I said, I'm using them. It's fine. I'm so close to finishing one of the shades in my Pam palette as well. That's how I justify myself. That's how I justify it and I'm happy living in my delusional world where 550 eyeshadows is acceptable. <laughs> so let's move on to glitter and pigments. So I think I've counted these like differently. I never really know what counts as a glitter slash pigment. So these always fluctuate so much. So in December I had 31 and now I have 38, but I haven't added any in my collection. What I think has happened is, I think sometimes I class my Super Shock shadows as single eyeshadows and sometimes I class them as pigments. They should probably be in single eyeshadows, but I just haven't. What I do is I count everything in this drawer as a pigment or a glitter. It just makes it easier for me to count everything, to not forget anything. So I think it's probably the same amount, but I've just counted things a little bit differently. I don't know, this one always trips me up. It always gets me because like what, what is a pigment, you know? <laughs> that might sound so dumb, but I don't know. I don't know. I never know how I count things. I always forget. It's one of those things. It's fine. It's fine. It's just makeup. It's okay. I'm not too fast, to be honest. So next I have eyeliners. This is pencil and gel and any kind of eyeliner. I just realized I have counted this wrong as well. That's not good. So in December I had 16 and I have written in my notes that I now have 13. However, I forgot to count my cake liners. So I have two cake liners. So technically I have 15. So we've gone down by one. That one was my only liquid eyeliner left in my collection, which is kind of scary. It was the NYX Ultimate Matte Liner. I love that liner. It's got such a small brush tip. However, I am trying to finish some black eyeshadows right now. So I'm using those as my wings today and most days now. So I know if I go out and I buy a liquid liner, I'll just use that forever. So I'm resisting that urge. <laughs> as long as I don't have any in my collection, I can't use them. And that means I can use all my other eyeshadows as wing liners, which is my thinking. That's my thing. I think I'm doing quite good in that thinking. Self-manipulation, you know? <laughs> Even though in my notes it says I've gone down three, I have actually only gone down one. But still, I've gone down one. I'm happy with that. Lipstick is another thing. Um, Oh, I was gonna say I'm confused about, but I'm actually not, I remembered now. So in December I had 14 and now I have 20, which means we've gone up by six. However, I did get the three Fenty Beauty glosses for Christmas. I also got the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Oil Gloss thing for Christmas. I bought myself the Natasha Denona 
I need a nude lipstick. So that's five. And then there's one more, which I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that other one came from, but it's not out of the question to just forget about something over the past few months. I'm fine with that. 20 is like a good number for me. 20 is my sweet spot. I don't really want to go above 20, but this includes glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I used to separate them out into categories, but I'd always forget what I'd classed as a lipstick or a lip gloss or a liquid lipstick because sometimes I have glossy liquid lipsticks. So what does that count as? So putting them all together is just a lot easier for me. I've got 20, I've gone up by six, but a lot of that was Christmas presents and the time in between. I've got to treat myself. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to treat myself, okay? I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> Next we have lip liner and in December I had nine and now I have eight. I have finished off my, what was it called? Minuteman lip liner. Oh my God, I love that. RIP Minute Man, we love you. I'm currently working on Colourpop Beeper and I think by the next inventory update that will have been used up. I don't have a lip liner addiction. Uh, I don't go around spending loads of money on lip liner. So I don't know, it's probably the last thing that I would choose to buy. So I don't think I have a problem with that at all. Next I have mascara. In December I had one. I still have one. I haven't taken a picture of this because I have it right here. Here you go. This is the picture. My Essence Lash Princess. I love you. Mwah. Best mascara in the world. I always try and only keep one mascara in my collection at a time. Mascara goes off very, very quickly. So if I have more than one, it just gets a little bit overwhelming for me. So I have one open. When this is empty, I'll go out and buy another one. That's how my mascara routine works. And finally, setting spray. In December, I had one. I still have one. So I only use this when I leave the house because my eyes get quite leaky and I found that this makes them not as leaky. So here you go. I mean, they're still leaky, but when my eyes do leak, it kind of keeps my makeup on in place. So when my eyes do leak, it doesn't look like I've like half removed my makeup and then just left the rest. It's not a good look. So I do use this whenever it's quite windy outside, whenever I'm going out for the day. I'll put this on just for my leaky eyes. I don't necessarily see it lasting longer, but it just makes it a little bit more waterproof. <laughs> so this is my inventory. What did you think of my numbers today? I actually don't think I've done too bad at all. I could have done a lot worse. I'm happy with this. I know, obviously, I did say at the start of the year, I'm doing a no buy. I'm buying absolutely nothing, but I'm happy with my spending. I'm not going all out. I'm not going crazy at all. And I'm happy. I'm happy. We've gone down in a lot, but we've also gone up in a few things. I think that's healthy. I think that's natural. What about you? What is something that you have really gone up in in the past few months? Have you had a spending spree recently? Let me know down below. Or are you on a no buy and have you gone down in everything? That is amazing. Let us all know your achievements down below. I would love to read them all. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye bye.